The Windsor is what MG is calling a crossover utility vehicle, a CUV for that matter. Why? Because it's got sedan-like comfort and it's got SUV-like qualities. The Windsor boasts of a futuristic design, smart tech, and of course, it has the USP of being very spacious. Add to that, there's a neat electric powertrain and some really neat, funky features as well. I will get down to all of that and a lot more in my review. So let's get going. When it comes to the design of the MG Windsor, it obviously has a lot of people looking because uh, according to me, it's a very polarized design. Either you love it or you hate it. Now, I happen to be in the love it category because it's very different. Yes, it's not your typical macho looking vehicle and neither is it your standard uh, run of the mill sedan. But it sort of combines the best of both worlds when it comes to space, comfort and convenience. And uh, the design has been sort of done in a way to ensure that it sort of glides through uh, the air, uh, very low uh, air resistance. Uh, MG likes to call this design the aero glide design and that gives it uh, this unique uh, persona that it has. So very neat flowing lines. Uh, up front you've got that sort of uh, bulb sort of uh, roundness to it at the lower half and then you've got this little step uh, which actually you have a small little bonnet over there that you can open up to sort of top up windshield fluid and stuff like that. Uh, so you've got easy access uh, right there underneath that little tiny uh, hood uh, that you get in the Windsor. The rest of the vehicle has these nice flowing lines uh, towards the rear, comes down nice large tail lights and of course uh, we're talking about it having uh, aerodynamically designed uh, alloys as well which look rather striking and nice big uh, chunky wheels. So there's really nothing uh, to complain about on that front and it is from the side that you realize just how big a vehicle the Windsor is. We're talking about it having 2700 mm. Uh, wheelbase which is uh, which opens up all that space on the inside which I'll get to in a bit but uh, it's a very neat looking uh, machine you've got uh, LED headlamps and illuminated front MG logo uh, you've got the connected tail lamps uh, which MG likes to call smart flow tail lights and uh, they definitely look uh, rather striking and coming back to the wheels we're talking about them being R18 sized so you know nice massive wheels uh, that do the job to bring out a little bit of that uh, power stance uh, that we so associate with the larger vehicles. Uh, the other element that is very striking about the Windsor when it comes to design is it gets uh, first in segment glass antenna at the rear which is very neat and of course uh, with the aerodynamics being about efficiency and getting the most out of your vehicle you also get uh, smart flush door handles which pop out when you walk up to the vehicle which I think is a very neat feature and much needed uh, you know, to access the vehicle uh, with ease. So from a design standpoint, I think they've done a fantastic job. It is, like I said, highly polarized. Uh, you don't get a panoramic sunroof, but what you do get is a massive glass roof. And uh, when you open up that from the inside, you do get a beautiful view uh, as well. Speaking of which, uh, coming to the cabin, uh, MG likes to call it Aero Lounge. Uh, you know, it is a lounge on wheels because thanks to the flat floor and oodles of space on board, uh, they've really been able to do a play around with how they've set it up. So you get a massive uh, front console, which is dominated by this huge uh, touchscreen interface. I mean, it is the largest touchscreen interface that you've seen in a car. And if I'm right, it's a 15.6 inch touchscreen interface that's bigger than my MacBook and <laughs> uh, you know it's just uh, right there it uh, allows you to access a ton of information in fact all your controls are inbuilt into it but I will tell you about a few shortcuts as well because you don't want to be taking your eye off the road and uh, MG has thought about that and they don't want it to be a distraction so they have given you a ton of shortcuts that are inbuilt into the steering mounted controls but I will get back to that in just a bit. Let me just wrap up here on the interior. So you get these really neat uh, quilted seats, uh, really uh, well done, extremely comfortable. The rear seat is fantastic, uh, amazing leg room, amazing headroom. The seats recline so that you're almost uh, lying down sofa like. So it's really great if you're gonna be chauffeur driven around in something like this. And uh, leg space again, you're just not gonna complain. Uh, even the boot, I mean, we're talking about it having 
a massive boot. You know, it's got six, over 600 liters of boot space. So you can actually get a ton of stuff in there and the flexibility of folding down the seats and all that jing bang includes the fact that you can actually pack in uh, close to maybe uh, over a thousand liters uh, should you require to be moving houses or helping someone move houses. Uh, space, like I said, no question at all. Uh, when it comes to uh, features on board, we're talking about uh, you getting a wireless smartphone charger right uh, on the front uh, console over there. You've got uh, mood lighting. You actually get 256 different color options over there. Uh, clearly on my drive, I didn't have time to uh, play through with all 256 colors. But yeah, I guess that uh, uh, it is of entertainment value. I know that uh, kids love having this on board and they are an important part of a car buying decision. So having that is great. You get a nine speaker uh, audio system, which again uh, does a fantastic job of uh, sound quality on board. Uh, there are uh, other key uh, elements that you do get, which is uh, ventilated front row seats, which is uh, again a great touch. And the overall fit and finish of the cabin is again exquisite. So you've got these wooden finish highlights uh, that really bring out the opulence of this vehicle and uh, do a great job. The driver armrest is actually big enough for you to store uh, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, Coke cans or water bottles in there. So there's uh, enough of that happening. At the rear, you also get an armrest where you can, uh, it's got two cup holders in it. Uh, again, well thought through to ensure that you've got uh, enough in terms of convenience as well as features on board. The Windsor also comes with a host of voice commands. So while I was on the move, I didn't want to really get down to demonstrating all of this, but here's what you do get. So you can say, hello, MG. I'm listening. Can you tell me the horoscope for Libra? Showing you the horoscope for Libra for 18 September. The numbers 6, 19, 29, 28, 16 and 59 are going to bring you lots of luck today. You will have some minor luck when gambling. Even though you seem like you're holding it all together, it is very likely that you are experiencing a lot of stress and emotions that you have been hiding from the world to see. Provided by AstroTalk. Thank you, MG. So, as you can see, there's a host of uh, features. Obviously, there's some fun stuff like a horoscope. Uh, I will get down to some more fun stuff. But uh, there are uh, certain commands that you can manage with it. It's got English commands. And you can also uh, toggle through. And if you go and check out uh, the other features that are there, I'm listening you can actually use up to six languages. So you've got English, Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Gujarati and Marathi to give it certain commands. But uh, as far as having fun with it and other voice commands that you can do is... Hello, MG. I'm listening. Tell me a joke. My doctor said to refer to my nervous breakdown as an episode. To be honest, it seemed more like a season finale. More like PJs, but yeah, you get the gist of it. That uh, it's a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of fun built in there. And uh, the voice commands, there's actually a list uh, that you will get that you can understand what all you can have a conversation with your car about and what controls you can do with it also. So this was just a small demo of some of the fun stuff that you can do with the MG Windsor and voice commands. And when it comes to the driving bit of it, what does it feel like on the road? The Windsor feels planted. I think the suspension setup is great. It's smooth, it's refined. Even going through bumps and bad roads. I took it on some nice broken rickety roads as well. It does a great job of not letting those uh, jarring jolts sort of seep into the cabin. Uh, of course, the seats have their own role to play in that as well. Extremely comfortable and uh, the cushioning is wonderful. But uh, you know, the suspension setup, the way it's done, it's something that inspires confidence. You drive it at uh, higher speeds as well. It does a great job. I think that low center of gravity ensures that you have minimal body roll going around corners. And uh, it is a vehicle that you can push and actually enjoy uh, in that sense. So I've been having a lot of fun out here on these Gurgaon streets, 
where I've been able to sort of push it around and enjoy some of the back roads uh, because this is a vehicle that you actually do enjoy being behind the wheel of and uh, that electric surge is just something that always puts a smile on your face. Uh, it does come with the 38 kilowatt hour battery pack on board which gives it a range of 331 kilometers per charge. Now that is the tested range. In real world conditions we've seen it do anywhere between 270 to 290. So when we're talking about a vehicle of this class and this category, I think it is achieving a pretty tremendous range uh, for what you do get on board. Of course, uh, MG has ensured that the battery is uh, top notch, so it is IP67 rated, so that's uh, water and dust resistant. It's got a liquid cooling system, so that does that takes care of the overheating issue that we have seen in uh, uh, much older EVs, and uh, definitely conforms to a ton of safety features. And uh, this is uh, just something that makes it uh, a pleasure to drive. It's actually surprisingly peppy to drive. Uh, you've got three modes, so you can toggle between the different modes. Sport mode obviously uh, <laughs> can push you back in your seat, and it is a lot of fun to drive. Handling is outstanding. The steering feels light. Uh, power it around town is absolutely easy. Take it out on a nice uh, highway run. It is calm and composed and you really are not going to complain about the ride quality or the way that this vehicle functions. It really wins you over uh, when you are behind the wheel and on board and on the move. Uh, safety is again something that uh, uh, MG has taken very seriously and we've seen it with just about all their products. So the Windsor comes with uh, six airbags as standard across all variants. You've got uh, 3D surround view cameras on board, a uh, very safe design using ultra high strength steel uh, at all the right places. Uh, again, uh, the other package is definitely there. So you got electronic stability control, hill start control, hill descent control. You get disc brakes on all four wheels, which is again something that's very important. And uh, of course, uh, there's uh, the elements of your, all your lights doing their little bit. So when it comes to safety, you know, it's not just about the the main elements of here, it's also there's these convenient features that make uh, your driving that much easier. So you like your tire pressure monitoring system, your auto dimming uh, uh, inside rear view mirror, you know, elements like this, for example, they do a great job in uh, uh, sort of uh, ensuring that everything is functioning right at the right time. So you're driving in a safer way. And I think uh, that that is something that MG has done very well uh, with the Windsor and uh, it is something that I definitely appreciated, including the rain sensing wipers, because we did get a lot of rain on the day that we were driving. Uh, last but not the least, there is uh, a ton of smart connectivity options on board. You get 80 plus uh, connected car features. So uh, that's again for you to toy around with and play with. So you can customize uh, the grand view screen. You can do a whole bunch of uh, stuff with that. And you also get voice controls in eight languages. So that's again something uh, that is uh, very neatly uh, integrated over there. So along with these smart buttons on your steering wheel that give you access to a lot of information, uh, like I said, you can customize this button. Right now I've got it so I can switch between drive modes, between eco, normal and sport. So it's a nice, easy way for me to have that access because that's something that I would use more than other features. But at the same time, you can set it up for different things and uh, I will run you through that and show it to you on the screen as well on how you can set up this button. Uh, on the screen over here, you can see that uh, you've got uh, access to modes again. So if I click on modes over here, it gives me the choice over here. But right now I've configured my button on the steering wheel, which is my multifunction button. Uh, so I can either use it to mute it or to uh, go to vehicle settings. Right now, as you can see, I've set it up for drive mode, but this button down here can be customized to these features. So that's again something that uh, you have to play with, see what's important to you and uh, do it that way uh, in order to access uh, uh, the features that you want. But uh, I will be going through an entire demo of the screen and all the features that you can access through the screen as well. But the good thing is that for the important stuff and while you're driving, you don't have to fumble around with the touchscreen and take your eyes off the road and be distracted by that. Because with these smart buttons and uh, multiple controls by holding them down, pushing them in, you can actually access uh, the main features that you need. You know, volume control, AC control, 
uh, your modes for driving and of course vehicle information uh, display so that's uh, pretty much uh, when it comes down to the tech on board they've kept it simple they've kept it intuitive they've kept it easy and i think that that is where uh, the windsor actually wins you over is that everything about it is just about ease comfort and convenience Last but not the least, uh, I do have a full video out about uh, the Windsor's uh, battery as a service program and how that works. So you must have heard that the Windsor starting price is actually 9.99 lakhs. Well, uh, to be honest with you, uh, that is uh, with the battery as a service program. Uh, the vehicle actually uh, has uh, three variants out there and uh, you know the range goes from about 11 to uh, uh, close to about 15 uh, on road and uh, that is uh, where you see tremendous value in it even without the battery as a service uh, option but if you are looking at an easy way of getting into uh, the EV space you don't want that upfront cost right there check out our video about battery as a service uh, and you will learn more about how it functions how it makes it easier for you to buy a vehicle like the Windsor and uh, definitely is an innovative financial approach to EV selling and with that, we come to the end of our MG Windsor drive. Of course, this has been a very exciting vehicle for the market. It is an exciting vehicle for MG and it also ushers in a really good sense of practicality in this mid-size segment. We're talking about it being affordable. I will just mention that in a bit. And we're also talking about it being very spacious, very practical and great for urban usage. Now, when it comes to the affordability part, Yes, we don't know the ex showroom value of the vehicle, but what we do know is that MG, which is not just offering it for the first time in India, it's possibly that this is happening for the first time in the world, is offering the battery as a service. So you can pick up the Windsor at 9.99 lakhs and then pay a rental fee for the battery. There's very interesting finance options on that as well. So I will do a complete video about battery as a service, so don't forget to catch that on our channel. But for now, I'm just letting you know that there is an interesting option to get your hands on. It's introductory. It's on till the 31st of uh, December 2024. So if you do want to be a part of that, remember you have to book your Windsor now. But uh, on a closing note, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If there's anything I left out, if there's something you want to know more about, feel free to drop me a comment. It's my promise and the Modus Christ promise to answer every query that comes in on our channel.